Before we get into this video, I know my eyebrows are bushy as f That's because I'm growing them out. I really want to grow them out and have them thicker, so I'm just letting them get bushy as f right now. Anywho, hi guys! Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous for today's video. I have no script. I just have a topic I want to talk about generally, and it is sort of an emotional topic, so I'm just gonna... Take a deep breath. So today's video topic is gonna be how pole dancing changed my view of my body or how pole dancing affected my body image. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna title the video. That's the general topic and I don't really even know where to start. I mean, I kinda do. <laughs> I feel like that's just a thing you say. <laughs> Anyways, I'm nervous. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, it's I don't know what it is, but I don't know. Just being vulnerable online, I really wanna start doing it. But it's scary. It's scary, I think, because I don't know, especially for me, I feel like my personality is just super bubbly, the super... I don't know, that is me, like, a bubbly and like, I don't know, I like to have fun in life. I like to just laugh and like, be stupid and be goofy and stuff, but I'm not gonna lie, I do have a kind of a really dark past and, uh... But that's okay, we're dynamic human beings, like... It's such a misconception that you're only this one thing. And the thing is, I like to think of the core of me as being this goofy, happy, fun, loving person. And then like these issues that I have and these things from my past are more like the cloud. Or like a cloud that comes over me, like it's not actually me. Anyways, so I guess I'm gonna start with my relationship to my body. Because we kinda gotta go back there before I get to when I started pole dancing. And how pole dancing has helped me cope with my own own issues with my body and my relationship with my body in general just has been so much made so much better with pole dancing and I hope this video can help explain that and show I guess the power of pole dancing because I do know that I know other people or at least one other person posted on Instagram about their own body issues and their eating disorder and how pole dancing really helped them reframe their view of their body and so it kind of inspired me to um, talk about it myself. I have thought about doing this before but anyways, I'm sorry this video is going to be all over the place. I feel like the best way of doing videos like this is a raw non-scripted form so here I am trying my best. I'll probably shed a few tears. I don't know. We'll see. So my relationship with my body uh, is quite complicated, I guess, or like uh, it has, I have a history of, I guess, a bad relationship with my body. Now, I want to say, first of all, I've never been diagnosed with anything and I'm not really going to diagnose myself, but let's just say I have had a disordered view of my body and uh, disordered behavior in relation to uh, my body. I don't know if it would classify as I actually had an eating disorder or actually had any sort of label, but I'm not really one to, first of all, label myself. Second of all, uh, I don't know what my second point was, but I just, I'm not gonna label myself. Starting really young, I remember my earliest memory, I think, with regards to my body was actually my bum. I remember my bum was just I didn't like my bum, I saw it in the back of a mirror, or like I was in a change room and I saw my bum and I was like, okay, like it was just too fat. <laughs> this sounds so weird because now fat asses is good, but I grew up with, uh, you know, Britney Spears, the Pussycat Dolls, more like fit and thin and like model-esque. So anyways, I think it started with my butt, <laughs> my fat ass. I'm sorry, I cope with humor, sort of, so I might be laughing throughout the video even though it's a serious topic, but I don't want to be too serious because, like, this is life, I don't know. And then just, like, you know, just, like, I would look at myself in the mirror and I just see a big body and, like, I was fat, even though when I look back, I wasn't really fat. But yeah, I just had this distorted view of my body. Really young, I remember. Stupidly young, like, I shouldn't even be thinking about my body at this point. And then, you know, I got older and I... I guess I could say I had some issues at home and I, I think this is partly why I had disordered eating because often it comes from a place of wanting control over something in your life so I think it was my way of having some control over my life uh, with the chaos around me. It started with restrictive eating. I, I was like f***ing... I found a note thing from when I was young. Like a note thing. <laughs> a notebook from when I... I found a notebook from when I was young. Like 13, 12, 13 I think. That was like... 
writing down what I ate and the calories in it and stuff like that and I'm like I look back now and I'm like that's really not normal I don't think and I you know restrictive eating restricting my calories just obsessed with what I was eating and that went on for like I don't know maybe I don't even know I, I the time when I was a kid I don't have a perception of it but I would say probably that went on for like I don't know four years uh, in varying degrees. I wouldn't say I was ever super, in I wasn't super intense with it, like, like I guess there's people that are even more restrictive, but it's not even, that shouldn't even be relevant. <laughs> I guess I, it's almost like I don't feel like I was sick enough to talk about it. It's such a stupid thing, because I, I still believe I was sick. To what degree? I don't know. And so I think around 15, 16, 17, maybe 18 too. No, I didn't, it started getting better. Uh, I would purge or like, no, what's it called? Like, I wouldn't really eat that much, but I'd eat unhealthy and then I'd like puke it up. Ugh. D see, this is why I'm so nervous to talk about it because it's so like, I don't know. It's so taboo and I haven't even really talked to my family much about this even, but like, It's so like gross to think about, but like, I just, if you've ever like been there, God, it's just this like disgust for yourself and like, and like your body and you're like, uh, this is why I fear doing this because I don't know how to articulate myself or like tell my story, but I don't know, anyways, so I basically went from restrictive eating to like eating, feeling really guilty and shameful and then puking it up, like and just like, I just like, I was so obsessed with food and so obsessed with like calories and and then like, I just like, it's just this cycle of just obsession with how my body looked like and like it's just I can't even describe it it's just like such a prison to be inside such a you just don't feel at home in your own body and uh anyways and it just it festered this like hate for not just just for my I don't know like it's just hard to even explain and I also, and I may as well just put it all on the table. I hate this. I hate, I don't hate it, but I just like, I, it's so scary being vulnerable like this, but I also, with regards to my body, I think it's relevant to mention, I, I've struggled with self-harm. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into that because I kind of want to make a whole other video on that at some point. Struggle, so basically my point is, <laughs> I had a really fucked up relationship with my body. Let's just say that. Just fucked up relationship with my body. I just remember just like, ah. Oh. And I still like struggle or like not struggle. I still live with, I guess, symptoms or after effects from this. Like I don't have a weight scale. Like I can't, I don't really weigh myself that often. I will every now and then, but I make sure, like I don't own one and I don't really look at calories. I try really, really try not to look at calories of things and really try to work with not feeling guilty if I do like enjoy like chocolate or something. And it's just something that I still need to pay a little bit of attention to. It's not, it definitely does not dictate my life anymore if anything. And this is what I'm gonna get to with regards to pole dancing. If anything, now I'm focused more on actual nutrition and getting enough protein and stuff, which I guess now I can get into. Now that I have sort of told you guys my background and I feel so weird, but you know what? I think this is part of healing, even though I feel like I'm pretty healed from this experience. I wanna open up a, bo a boot. <laughs> I want to open up about things and talk more about things, important things that I think can help people. So I guess fast forward to 2016, January I think, 2016 I started pole dancing. At this point I had kind of gotten over my disordered eating, disordered view of my body, but not really. Like I think I still had a few times like every like Every now and, then, and now in the blue moon, I would like, I hate the word puke, but I would like puke up my food. F so weird to say. I don't, I don't really talk to anyone about this. It's so weird. 
when you talk about it on the internet like it's almost better to just talk to a camera <laughs> like who needs humans anyways and so yeah I start pole dancing I'm having fun it's just like I don't know it's fun I'm doing something exercise that's fun and you know I kind of didn't realize how much pole dancing meant to me until like maybe two one or two years in and I'm like I'm like eating food to get stronger I'm like wanting to eat because I'm like I can't not eat I need to gain muscle like I need to get stronger if I'm gonna get better at pole dancing I want to be able to do these cool moves and these cool tricks and like become a better pole dancer so I, I have to eat like I it became food became a thing that I needed to be able to do cool things like to be able to pole dance to be able to like get all these cool moves and to be able to just like just like do these cool things and like have fun and be this little fucking monkey on a pole and it, I just this whole new relationship with food and my body and you know I was no longer looking at my body for like what it looks like and how, a number on a scale I was now looking at my body for like all the cool things I could do like the ballerina or like the fucking I don't know Aisha and you know, it was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to even explain it. It's just like, pole dancing just like came into my life when like I just did not have the best relationship with my body, you know, and I hadn't, I had healed a little bit, I would say, but I had definitely not healed completely and I still had like a distorted view of myself and my body and then, you know, in comes pole dancing on a fucking shining white horse. <laughs> Now, you know, fast forward, now it's 2020 and I'm, you know, still pole dancing, obviously. And I go to the gym quite a bit, not gonna lie, but it's, I wouldn't say it's an unhealthy gym going. I uh, listen to my body. If I'm really sore in my muscles and stuff, I won't go work out. I use like protein powder, you know, to get protein. I eat good food, uh, good food, healthy food. I, you know, it, it's just like way more of a healthy focus. It's way more like I need nutrition. I need to feed my body so I can like learn all these cool things. And it's not anything like, it's not like I'm punishing my body. It's like I'm rewarding my body with the food. The food is a reward. It's like you need this to nourish yourself and to like do all these cool moves. I feel like I've said do all these cool moves so many times in this video, but like, and I just happen to be like getting a better body at the same time, but it's not like the main thing. It's just like, it's just such a cool beauty. Like pole dancing is art to me. Po pole dancing is like, it, it's just a representation of what your body can do and that your body isn't just a f***ing static or like a, a thing to look at. It's a thing that can do all these cool things and that can become stronger and gain flexibility and do all these awesome things that you need nutrition to do like you can't pole dance and not feed yourself if you want to be a good pole dancer you have to feed yourself the right things and you know gain muscle and all these different things and it's just like it's so beautiful to me like i i love my body now you know <laughs> i don't i didn't ever like really love my body before oh my god <laughs> I'm such a fucking crybaby. Like, can you not? I literally can't control my crying. Whew. <laughs> Dramatic bitch. Just kidding. But yeah, like, I just, I never, I just, like, hated my body. I hated, and to now be able to sit here and say that I, like, love my body and I'm, like, I'm excited because I see a little muscle on my body. That is, like, that is such a, I am just, like, uh, I'm just like tingling in my body now almost from thinking about it like I just think the human body is so fucking amazing and like the f this shit that we can do it's crazy it's just like <sighs> yeah so I guess that's the video <laughs> yeah <laughs> I feel like it was a little bit all over the place, but it, I, I, it's important to talk about it. It's a stepping stone for me to become more vulnerable and open up more because I feel like I've closed off a bit as a person in general. I just like, I want to go back to being a bit more open and not caring as much about, you know, just like, I don't know, just, I don't want to be just a, a one-sided person that's just always a certain way because I do also have these uh, sides to me and these things I've been through that sort of has made me who I am and, and I know that a lot of other people go through things like this and I'm sure I mean maybe there's other pole dancers out there watching this right now who's 
also probably I mean most people have body image issues whether it be disordered eating or not like you probably it, you know even if you're just insecure about your body pole dancing is such a great tool I think to restructure how you look at your body it's like and I can do this crazy things like I've said a million times in this video okay I'm gonna just stop in this video here I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribe a lot of you guys have checked my analytics, aren't subscribed. You may have just forgotten to subscribe, so please press the subscribe button. <laughs> I thank you! I really don't like doing that. Like and subscribe stuff. It actually does help, apparently, so please. Yeah, and at the end here, I just want to remind you guys to always be the light you guys want to see in the world. Don't let anyone ever tell you guys that you can't do something positive for the world because you can. I can't believe I actually remember that whole thing. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and do something nice for you guys and your body today. Take care of your body and yeah, you beautiful honey. <laughs> okay, bye.